Well, hello everybody. Carrie here with Ghost STEM Explore Science. Did you notice when you were watching Dr. Tevis's video just how many things he was paying attention to in that forest? He also asked a bunch of questions and was making connections between different things in that forest and the animals that he studies. Those three skills, observing, asking questions, and making connections, those are skills that all scientists use to unlock the mysteries that surround us. You know, scientists aren't born with those skills. Just like anything, science takes practice. As Sherlock Holmes once said, I see no more than you, but I have trained myself to notice what I see. So I think what Sherlock Holmes is saying there is that with some practice and curiosity, anyone can be a really great observer. All right, everybody. So to complete this discovery challenge, we need to go outside. We're going to wander around and we're going to find something natural to observe. If going outside isn't an option, go ahead, find a house plant or a fruit or vegetable in the fridge. If you look closely, I know in my house there's plenty of spiders to find in the basement. So let's go explore a bit and you're going to go find your something and you'll want to pause the video and take your time. Hey, welcome back everybody. I'm really curious what you all found. I found a stump here in my yard. So in our practice of unlocking the mysteries of science, our first step is to make observations. And an observation is something that we notice with our senses. Though today we're not gonna be using our sense of taste. So we know we're making an observation when we start our sentence with, I notice. So for example, I have my stump here, and I notice that it looks pretty gray on top. It's pretty brown, kind of a tan on the inside. They're different colors. I notice there, there are holes all over the top of the stump. I notice it smells kind of musty yet sweet. And there's a stronger smell on the inside. I notice it feels pretty smooth on the top. I can rub my fingers across it, but it feels pretty rough on the side, especially where there were what looks like branches that came out the side. And then it's not really making any sound, but when I knock on it, it definitely doesn't sound solid. It sounds pretty hollow. So you might notice that I didn't say things like, oh my gosh, this is so awesome, or, oh, this is kind of gross. Because if I did that, that was, wouldn't be observations, those would be opinions. I also didn't say, oh, there are insect holes on the top of this stump. Because that would be an explanation, that would be explaining that insects did that. Unless I actually saw the insects boring the holes or eating the holes, then I can't say for certain what caused those holes to form. So observations are what we notice in the moment, not what we already know. That's kind of a hard thing to do. So now it's your turn. You're going to pause the video and practice saying out loud what you notice about your object. As many things as you can come up with using your senses. And if you have a partner around, it'd be great to share your observations and their observations with each other. Have fun. Okay, so second, we're gonna ask some questions. And your questions can be about observations you just made, or really anything at all about your object. And we'll say, I wonder, to start our sentences. So for my stump, I wonder what formed all of these holes I wonder if it was cut because of the flat surface. And if it was cut, who cut it and when did they cut it? I wonder how tall the tree once was and how old was it when it died? So now it's your turn. 
pause the video and ask as many questions as you can about your object. Our third step to unlock scientific mysteries is to make connections. To do that, we'll say what our object reminds us of. It could be an experience that you've had, a book, a movie, or an internet site. So these holes here remind me of holes of stumps I've seen up on one of our local mountains, up on Mount Emily. And then some of the bark on this side reminds me of a toad that I saw this weekend. Really bumpy skin, kind of rough, kind of gray. And then when I pull off some of the bark, on the inside, you can kind of see some of these lines, the way they kind of curve around each other, remind me of how puzzles are put together. Now it's your turn. Pause the video again and say as many things as you can that your object reminds you of. You can use I notice, I wonder, it reminds me of the three eyes of a scientist to make discoveries about anything, anywhere, just about any time. So you're going to find something else new to observe and practice these three eyes of a scientist. You'll also want to bring along a paper and pencil and something hard to write on because you're going to write down two things you notice about your nude object, two things that you wonder, and two things that you're reminded of. Then you'll take your observations and using Flipgrid, you'll record to share what your observations and discoveries have been. So if you are using a computer, you probably want to take something small so that you can record inside. If you're using a phone or a tablet, you can probably bring it outside. Please ask permission from any adult. You bring it outside and do your recordings outside onto Flipgrid. You'll need the Flipgrid app on both a, a phone or a tablet. Have a lot of fun with the three eyes of a scientist and I can't wait to hear all about your discoveries.